Time's come now where I'm going to start building the uh, actual workbench, which is going to go all along here and part way down the wall here. Uh, so I already started painting the uh, all the wood. It's going to be a white-ish kind of color, like maybe an eggshell, but more white than egg, I guess. Uh, and then get that on there. I got the door moldings here I'll be putting on as well. So uh, I'm just getting that painting done first before I can do anything. Okay, just getting the plywood here painted before I actually start doing any cutting for the uh, new workbench. This is going to be the framework for that. Okay, now let's get started with uh, building the framework around here. Uh, so I got the 8 foot sheets right along the back. And I'm going to cut the side there, go down. The tabletop itself is going to be 30 inches out from the wall. So it'll come around here. So it's, it's going to be a pretty big workspace. Come all the way down here. And then I'm going to have a shorter section, probably come up to about here. You can see like where the line is on the wall there, around there. And then I got my paint racks and everything is going to go right here. And, 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 uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so I just did a quick sketch here, what I'm going to make or something similar to this. So basically, it'd be like one here another one here and then i just attach the smaller one to the big one after so it's going to be well braced i have a brace in the center of that one there uh the legs will go right up to basically to the bottom of the tabletop um, and my work main work station is going to be right in the center here um, 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 um. And that should be exactly what I need. So these are all cut, painted, ready to go for cutting. And I just finished painting up the moldings here that are going to go along around the upper edge of the, the uh, room. Between the wall and the ceiling. So I'll be putting those up as well. Just got the tabletop painted. It's a little bit colder today, so it's going to take quite a while for it to dry. But at least it's done. It's ready for cutting and fitting. Uh, I still got one more sheet I have to paint, but that probably won't happen until the next day. Don't know why I have it lying down. It's supposed to be like that. Inside 25 and a half, 25 and a half inch lengths for those. Okay, I'm going to be using three inch deck screws. Let's do a test here. Oh, ho, 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 yeah. Looks good.
Well, this kind of sucks. Uh, I finished it off. I thought I was recording, but uh, nope. But anyway, here's the top. It's all done. I just got to figure out the length of the legs. And so I'm going to put legs there. Down there. I was kind of thinking I was going to have kind of shelving on this side shelving on that side because basically this is the center here where i'm going to be working so it'll be like a legs here legs here all for the shelving that will go in under there and under there uh, okay let's get that done so i need one two three four five six seven eight legs okay so i've got these they're 34 inches each the old workbench that I was working on, it was um, 35 and like a quarter. So it's like an inch and a quarter or three quarters shorter. So it's, it's still at a really good height. Okay, so let's get these puppies on. Get on. Okay. A little bit long these, but I don't have anything shorter. Should have had like uh, two and a half inch screws, but this will have to do. No, it's go looking good and on top of that I screwed it into the wall got it right into the joist on both sides here this ain't going nowhere except me now I just need to figure out how far down I'm gonna make this um, I have to go measure my paint rack because it's it, it can't come right up against here because I'm gonna have shelving coming out here on this thing so I just need to find do some math okay after doing a little bit of math and measurements I find the paint rack is gonna take up way too much room here for me to have a decent size part of the bench over here so the perfect place is right here um it'll come up like the light switch here is about 45 inches from the bottom it comes up 42 and then the other paint rack stuff will come up over here in that angle so it'll fit right there beautifully that's where i'm gonna put it okay for this side here um it doesn't have to be 30 inches. It's it's just going to take up too much room in the workspace. So I'm kind of thinking. Hmm. Even two feet might be a little much because I want it to come down fairly far maybe down to about this point here where you see this just so I got enough uh, storage space to put stuff while I'm working on a model and then the excess stuff I can just put it off to the side until I'm ready to work on it some more Okay, I'll work on it. Hang on. Okay, so there's still another step I have to take yet. I got to put the framework around here 
for the shelf to sit on. Uh, but for now, I just want to get this second part of the bench built. Okay, there we go. I just got to screw it all together and then make the legs for it. Yeah, I got uh, two legs cut here. All I need are two just for the end there. This end here is going to tie into there. Okay. Looking good, looking good. Just got to tie this in now. Yeah, baby. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Almost like my drawing. Looks good. Now, I was thinking, I know that hurts, is uh, putting framework along here, which means I'll need another 2x4 here on this side and on the other side. Just coming down just low enough to where I'm going to be putting the shelving. That'll go the same height with these ones on the here. Actually, these in here. Actually, maybe I don't need, I don't need a 2x4 there because I'll have the bracing here and I'm just going to have one great big sheet going all the way along from there, all the way there. And that'll take care of that shelving and, of course, the shelving for this over here. So when I put the shelving in, I'm going to have them where they wrap around the legs. So it'll be flush with the outside of the legs all the way around and so like it'll come here do like an L shape come down all the way across so I'm gonna have a lot of bottom shelving for supplies and stuff that'll go along with all the shelving that I'm gonna be putting up here and below the shelf is gonna be pegboard I still have to build the frame for the pegboard yet um, I'm probably just gonna use one I don't know half inch by Four, four by twos? I don't know. I don't know. Four by twos. Ugh. Anyway, or maybe just one by ones. I don't know. Something like that. So that's all I'm going to do for that. Okay, now I noticed something else about this is this wall here, along with the cement wall here, isn't exactly perfect. A 45. As you can see, the gap gets wider and wider and wider the further away we move from the the wall there. So I'm going to have to uh, angle cut the top part of the workbench a little bit. And it is going to come out past about an inch and a half all the way around as well. Hey, here's where we stand so far. I got uh, all that molding up there. Looks pretty good. Not bad. Looks actually like it's complete. Got the framing around the door here. <laughs> I went and got one that's a little bit too wide. You know what? I don't care. I like it. It's stylish. Whatever. It's, it's me. It's me. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to start on getting the framework around here for the bottom storage shelves. Now, I went into the other workroom. I got a nice, great, big, wide drawer, and it will fit right in here beautifully. So I'm going to make a, a system in here for the drawer to be able to go in and out of. So it's not too difficult. So I'll get that done. But first thing <clears throat> I need to do, get the framework down here. I'll have to unscrew this from the wall because this is going to have to be pulled out to be able to get into the rest of this, screwing the bolt, the bolts into the bolts, the screws into the plywood. Um, 
So I got some brand new sheets that I'm going to put on here. Three quarter finished wood with the laminate on top. So I'm not going to use that plywood that I use that I painted. This is what I'm talking about here. And it's really nice and thick, three quarter inch, really tough. And it's, it's a whole lot easier because I know my blade is going to cut into it. And then, like this sheet over here, this, it's, it's no good. So I got a couple of these sheets here. This is over a hundred dollars between these two sheets. Now we're talking Canadian prices here, not American. So I better use these wisely and cut them properly. Otherwise it'd be just a waste of money. There we go. Got those in place. That's all I need. And I just uh, got to uh, get those cut to put on there. But the first thing I'm going to do, get this main one done. It's going to come out 30 inches, which is going to come out just a little bit past the edge here. I'm going to do the same for this side here. But I got to remember, I got to cut it on a slight angle so it try and get it as flush to the wall as I can and then coming out here okay here's what I got what the dimension is going to be so it's going to be 26 inches on this outer edge here it'll come out about an inch past this side here is 25 inches from near to here and about an inch past there and it's exactly four feet long, which will bring it about an inch past the edge here. So it's uh, it's going to be a pretty good fit. Just going to make sure I get these numbers just right. Okay, so I just need to do this in here now. So let's see, uh, four feet long, 25 on that side, 26 inch on that side, and this should have no issues. Gonna cut along here a little bit and uh, slide that right in. Okay, there we go. Not bad. Okay, we just need to put the uh, bottom shelving units in, but I'm gonna do that in the next episode because the next episode I'm going to include all the shelving in the room. So please like, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to share and click that notification bell for any future uploads. If you have any questions or you want me to do some commission work for you, contact me at epic.models at gmail.com. And please check out my website, www.epicmodels.com. See you guys later. Bye-bye.